What's up, Bargain family? Welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm gonna to be sharing a bunch of home hacks using Dollar Tree products. Most of these hacks require one to three products. I hope you guys enjoy the video. Now, let's begin. The next time you're in Dollar Tree, grab some of their step shelves. What you're gonna do is you are either gonna break off the back legs or bend them just enough so that they lie a little bit more flat. I decided to break mine off. To do that, you just keep bending it until it snaps. When you place your shelves inside of the drawer, place the shelf down so that the short legs are towards the back and don't place the shelf against the front of the drawer. Place them a little further back so your larger spices can go in the front. The middle can only hold smaller spices and the back larger spices again depending on how deep your drawer is. This is such an easy hack to do if you're looking for a new way to organize your spices. And if you haven't seen the video where I made one of these out of Dollar Tree wood, I'll link it down below for you guys. I actually prefer that version more, but this way it's just easy and quick. This is one of my favorite home hacks ever. Use painter's tape to hang your pictures. Lots of times you get an image, a piece of decor that has multiple hooks in the back and you think you have it perfectly placed on your wall to make those holes and find out later that you messed up. So what you do is you take painter's tape and you place it on the back of your decor. In this case, you can see that there are two hooks on the back of this decor. Cut that painter's tape down to fit the width of your piece and then create holes where you want your nails to be. So in this case, I'm making it directly underneath those hooks. Then take your piece of painter's tape off and place it on your wall. Make sure that the piece of tape is straight. Now go ahead and use your nails or screws, whatever it is you're doing, to create the holes where you made your marking. Then go ahead and peel your tape off and and hang your image. You can see on one try, my image is good to go. If I try to do that without the painter's tape, I always mess up and have unnecessary holes inside of my wall. This is a great way to do this. I absolutely love the mop and broom holders from Dollar Tree for more than their intended use. So what I'm gonna do is I am actually gonna cut this into two separate pieces. We're gonna use these to organize cleaning supplies that have a handle that tend to be underneath our sinks. You'll remove the paper backing off of the broom holder exposing the adhesive then stick that underneath your sink now there are many factors to this because it depends on your sink and how underneath your sink works and where you want to place these exactly you're gonna need something to hang your supplies off of you can use a broomstick from Dollar Tree if you need to cut through this you can the only thing is one end will end up being sharp that's an ideal when using Dollar Tree products. However, I prefer to use a wooden dowel. I got this one that is half an inch thick and 36 inches long at Hobby Lobby for $1.29. I had to cut my dowel down to fit underneath my sink and then I hung it on top of the broom holders. Once I have them hung, I can then hang the cleaning supplies that are underneath the sink right off of this. If you want to use screws to screw this underneath your sink, you can, you just gotta make sure you're screwing into like the wood or whatever it is under there, not directly into your sink. You're gonna know exactly how much you can hang off of whatever it is that you're using to hang this off of by paying attention to how much it bows. If it's bowing too much, you wanna take some of the cleaning supplies off of this. Another easy and expensive option I've shown on my channel before is to get the kitchen towel holders from Dollar Tree. They're meant to hold your kitchen towels, but if you flip them over into the inside of your cabinet doors, you can go ahead and use those to hang some cleaning supplies off of. I've gotten comments before from people saying that you're not supposed to hang your cleaning supplies like this, but I'm telling you guys, I have been doing this for years and I've never, ever, ever have had the handles just break on me. I saw this awesome renter friendly hack using this mop and broom holder on TikTok. You can use them to hang your curtain rods and curtains off of. I know when Matt and I moved into our first apartment, this would have come in handy because there was nothing to hang curtains off of. You cut the holder into two separate pieces and I decided to use command strips because the adhesive on these is very strong. I didn't want to run the risk of this peeling my paint off. I tried to find who created this idea on TikTok. It's very hard to give credit to people on TikTok because lots of times people don't credit the original creator behind something and there's so many people that do that so it's very hard to find the original creator. However, I tried my best and I found iJinger. She uploaded this March 15th, 2022. If you've seen somebody who uploaded this sooner than that, please leave them down below for me. So whoever created this idea, whether it's iJinger or somebody else, I just want to thank you because it is a brilliant idea. Dollar Tree carries hanging baskets that are meant for plants you can actually use inside of the kitchen. I I recommend getting the picture hanging kits from Dollar Tree and using the eye hook that's inside of there. However, you might not want to put that inside of your cabinet. So instead you can get the phone ring holders from Dollar Tree and use that instead. You just don't want to put too much weight inside of the basket if you're using this. 
Just stick the ring underneath your cabinet, then hang the basket off of that, and then you can put your fruit inside. You can't put any small fruits. If you want to do small fruits, you can use some ribbon from Dollar Tree, feed it through the basket, and then that way you can put stuff inside of there that is smaller. A few videos ago, I asked you guys to comment with your favorite animal emojis, and oh my gosh, I got so many responses. I love seeing what you guys like. So in this video, let me know your favorite fruit emoji. Mine is the peach because I find the peach funny. And probably you guys might know why I find the peach funny. But let me know your favorite fruit emoji down in the comments. I uploaded this hack last July, which is an idea my husband had. You can use a kitchen towel holder from Dollar Tree to hang paper towels off of. Just open up the towel holder to hang a roll off of, then close it up and hang it off of your cabinet. You might have to bend the paper towel holder a bit to get it to hang properly for you to unravel the roll. I wanted to think of a new way to hang paper towels using Dollar Tree products that wouldn't hang below a cabinet door. What you can do is get two phone ring holders from Dollar Tree. You're going to place one underneath your cabinet. Then you will need the larger book rings from Dollar Tree or shower curtains that you will hook to the phone ring holder. You'll also need something long and stick-like to go through your paper towels. I'm actually using this pointer from the teacher supply section at Dollar Tree. But honestly, I recommend using a wooden dowel from Walmart and cutting it. You place your rod through the paper towel, then hang one side of the rod off of the rings, then place the other ring you bought with a book ring on it to the opposite side of the paper towel holder and that's it i do wish the rod was a little bit longer that's why i said i would go with the walmart one however it gets the job done and that's a different way to hang paper towels in your kitchen here's another hack using those ring holders from dollar tree you can use them to hang aluminum foil plastic wrap and so on off of just make sure the tabs on the side of your boxes are pushed out revealing the holes on the sides then use a dowel stick whatever you have on hand to feed through your box and roll. Now you will need two phone rings for every box you hang. I'm hanging this to the inside of a cabinet door. Stick one ring holder to your surface, then grab your box and stick and place it through that first ring. And there's an idea. You might not want to do this on the cabinet door that's underneath your kitchen sink. I'm just doing it here because you can see my kitchen's the size of a hallway. I got to work with what I got when I'm filming these videos. I'm working in the kitchen right here, which is going to lead me to our sponsor for this video, Green Chef, which I absolutely love. Green Chef supports a healthy lifestyle with pre-proportioned, easy-to-follow recipes delivered right to your door. Green Chef is a CCOF certified organic company that helps you cook clean, delicious dinners week after week. There's options for every lifestyle. Keto plus paleo, vegan, vegetarian, fast and fit, Mediterranean, and gluten-free. Elevate weeknight dinners with Green Chef's seasonal chef-crafted recipes featuring farm-fresh produce and organic, sustainably sourced ingredients. Green Chef is also the first organic certified company in the milk kit category. I have a hard time figuring out what to cook often, especially being pregnant because I get tired of the same food fast. So I love that I can try new meals that are delicious and healthy with Green Chef. Green Chef is now owned by HelloFresh to offer a wider array of meal plans to choose from. I've used HelloFresh for years and just love switching between the brands for when I want to eat differently month to month. If you want to try Green Chef for yourself, use my code BARGAINBETHANY60 to get 60% off plus free shipping. Go to greenchef.com for more details. If you are not a cook at all, like me, and you can make this stuff at home, it tastes like you're eating at a restaurant. It's so good. Again, go to greenchef.com for more details and use my code BARGAINBETHANY60 to get 60% off plus free shipping. Dollar Tree carries these little plastic baskets, three for a dollar and 25 cents. I'm going to be using these as well as some wood pieces I picked up at Dollar Tree as well. Now I'm going to take these little plastic baskets and I'm actually going to staple them into the wood. I do have this more heavy duty stapler, but honestly, a just normal stapler can work in this. If you don't want to use a stapler, you can always zip tie this to the wood or even glue it on because what we're using this for is very lightweight so you can get away with using some hot glue. I put two pieces of wood on each side of these baskets creating this type of tier design. This is actually going to be used for K-cups. You can hold five normal size K-cups in each basket. If you need something that's bigger, I will link a DIY I did down below for you guys because I know some people like my mother, they have a whole lot of K-cups and this is just really simple to do and it's inexpensive. You can also use this to hold other things. It's completely up to you. Sometimes Dollar Tree carries soaps, shampoos, lotions that come in really nice bottles and you can make them in 
instantly look high-end just by adding a different label. I like to use the website BeFunky.com. I go to the collage maker. I remove most of the little cells that are in there. And then I create a black border. Once I've done that, I put a white image in those cells. And then you just go to where they have different text and then just type something out. I use something that tends to have a line underneath it and I make it basic. I just put like hand soap, dish soap, Whatever you're trying to do, you could just type it out. And then under that, I put essentials, trying to make it look fancy. I save my image, then I print it out. Sometimes you have to resize when you print it out. And make sure you're using waterproof labels if you're gonna be putting these labels on anything that's gonna get wet often. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna then remove the labels that are originally on the packaging of what it is that you're using, and then put your new labels on the front. I did do one that says dish soap, even though there's no dish soap in there. I'm just giving you guys an idea. These particular containers I like them a lot and can be used for dish soap look how much more high and they look just by changing the label and like I said the container of this is so nice so the container paired with that label makes it look like I got it somewhere else beside Dollar Tree if you're looking for more cabinet door organization ideas, you can get these file organizers from Dollar Tree. These ones in particular that have the holes on the side, the reason being is you can attach them using zip ties versus hot glue. So it's really secure and nothing's really gonna fall out. So you're gonna use your zip ties to attach two of them together. Now place some command strips on the back of the file containers. It depends on what weight you're putting inside of this. So you might have to use more command strips than I did. And then all you have to do is place this on your cabinet door. Make sure that your cabinet door can still close once you place this on there. You can use this to store or organize so many things. One idea is actually plastic bags. If you save your plastic bags like I do, you can put them inside of here. They come out from the top, underneath the sides, you just pull them right out. Let me know if you save your plastic bags down in the comments below. I do, they can be used for so many different things, especially when people come over and you're sending them home with some food. <laughs> If you want this to hold smaller, thinner items, you can place a piece of cardboard. I got this cardboard literally from a box and just put that underneath there to cover up the hole that's created there and then place whatever you want inside of there. This time around, I was just giving you guys ideas. I put the aluminum foil in there, plastic wrap, an empty bottle. I mean, it's completely up to you. This is another one of my favorite home hacks and my husband came up with this idea too. I shared it with you guys before, but you can get these multi-purpose latches in the baby section of Dollar Tree. And these are great to use on your garbage cans outside if you have an issue with animals getting into the garbage cans. During the summertime, we kept getting raccoons going inside of our garbage. And when they would get inside of there, they would leave it open, then flies would get inside and then we ended up with maggots. So we started using these and we haven't had that problem since. Dollar Tree is carrying these hanging storage bins right now that are great for organizing inside of drawers, especially organizing socks and underwear. This is the inside of my son's sock and underwear drawer. It's a mess. I take the organizer and place it inside of the drawer. Now this organizer doesn't come with cardboard pieces to put inside of the slots to make it from collapsing in on itself. So what I did is I just took some cardboard from my Green Chef box, cut it down and placed it inside of the slots. Usually the fabric foldable organizers from Dollar tree do come with a cardboard piece to place down there and then once I have the cardboard inside of there I just start organizing everything and you can see it's just so much better than trying to rummage for like I need this particular sock but I had to find it amongst this underwear or these rags I also took a different organizer and I took advantage of that wasted space with that organizer so the drawer went from looking like this a hot mess to something that is much more visually appealing and just better for me when I'm trying to find something these are the other collapsible storage containers that Dollar Tree carries that I was talking about that come with a cardboard piece that goes at the bottom of this to keep it nice and open. These are great for organizing inside of drawers as well, especially bigger items like little kid shirts and pants. I wasn't about to share with you guys my underwear drawer, so instead we're organizing Coopers. Do you have an issue with your garbage bags always falling off of the rim of your garbage can? Well, get the adhesive hooks from Dollar Tree. You're gonna place these on the sides of your garbage, and then when you place your garbage bag, you're gonna take the string of the garbage bag and hook it around those adhesive hooks. And this is going to stop your bags from falling inside of your trash can. The adhesive hook placement also depends on your particular trash can. For this one, the hook works best on the front. I actually don't have that issue with the bag with this particular trash can but I just wanted to share with you guys this idea just in case you do have that issue. 
I know we've all ran into this issue with price tags when you're removing them. They start to peel and leave behind residue on the surface of what it is you bought. Well, you can get a blow dryer and take your blow dryer to the price tag. Let it heat up and then remove it. And once you do it this way, it is so easy to just peel it off without any residue sticking behind. This happens very often with Dollar Tree products where there's a residue and the price tag doesn't want to come completely off. This is awesome for that. Maybe you have something with an adhesive like I do on a surface you want to remove it from, but you're afraid that it's going to peel maybe the paint or the wood that you placed it on. Again, take a blow dryer to it let it heat up let it get really into that adhesive and then remove it so these little hooks you see here they are from the pegboards from dollar tree i used them for a tutorial however i was afraid to just rip them off of the wood because the adhesive is so strong so instead i take my blow dryer to it and then i used a scraper that i got from dollar tree and very gently remove it from the wood and i did not have anything peel off the wood was completely fine i really highly recommend using a blow dryer if you're having issues like this. Another example, command strips. I have heard of people who have issues with these strips or the hooks peeling their paint. So what you can do is you can take your blow dryer to the hook first or the strip first and just let it warm up because once you let it warm up, the adhesive comes off so smoothly and you don't have to worry about it ripping off your paint. When you are doing your laundry, do you wonder where a pair of socks went? Let me tell you guys, it happens to me so often, especially with my son's socks because they're so tiny. I recommend getting a mesh laundry basket from Dollar Tree and just clipping it to the side of your laundry basket. This is in my son's room and if it's a little too long, you can bunch it up to make it smaller. Then use the tie to just make the hole smaller to place the socks inside of. Oh my gosh, this is such a game changer, especially for children's socks. You can wash this inside of the washer. It's completely fine. It keeps all the socks together. So you aren't losing them the same way you do when you just throw them directly into the laundry basket. Dollar Tree is starting to get in their Sterilite crates again. I love these for organizing and DIYing. And for this particular piece I'm making, I use some zip ties to attach four crates together. Then I'm going to use command hooks to hang these off of the wall. I used a one three pound command hook, and that means it holds three pounds for each organizer I had placed on the wall. So there's four behind there. If you're putting items inside of this that are weighted, you might want to directly screw the Sterilite crates into the wall, but it's just an easy way to make a floating shelf. And I don't recommend putting anything too heavy. I have some plushies inside of here and I ended up moving this. It didn't stay above the crib. An easy hack you can do with these crates is to use the crates and wooden dowels to organize your ribbon. If you have a lot of ribbon like me, you just put them through the dowels and then put the dowels through the crates and then you can easily just take your ribbon, pull it down and then cut what you need. Now let me show you guys a hack using the carabiners from Dollar Tree. When I place my bags inside of the car, I like to take the carabiner right away and hang my bags off of it. I tend to shop with Cooper alone and this makes it easy for me to get Cooper out of the car, carry him and grab all the bags in one hand right away rather than trying to grab each one individually while he's trying to squirm out of my arms. The carabiner makes it easier for me to open the door as well. I can put the bags on the ground, open the door and pick up all the bags at once without trying to juggle all the bags in my hands again. I didn't have too many bags when I filmed this, so obviously you can pick it all up with one hand, but it really does make it easier when I'm juggling Cooper in one arm and then carrying all the bags at once. One of my favorite products from Dollar Tree is this frosted window film. It's kind of like a privacy film. So I have this cabinet inside of my front room. This has my main craft supplies inside of it. So the paints that I tend to use a lot, the paint brushes that I tend to use a lot. I don't have a big house and I don't have a crafting room. So all my stuff is kind of all over the place. And this is the main area I film craft DIYs in. So most of my paints and stuff are inside of there because it's easy access. However, I I didn't like that you can see directly through it. So I used the window film to hide it. What I realized for this particular project is that I needed two layers of the film to get the look that I wanted where you can no longer see exactly what's inside of here. And let me tell you, it looks so much better than it did before. When we moved inside of our house, we used something just like this inside of our bathroom. The bathroom window, you 
you cannot see out of right now. However, if we remove the film that we used, you can see directly out of the window and our neighbors can see inside of the window. So this is actually what it's meant for. Like I said, it's like a privacy film. So right here, I'm showing you guys how it works. What you do is you clean your window, get it wet, and then you place the film after you've cut it on top of your window. Then you can use something like a squeegee to go ahead and remove all of the bubbles out if you have any. And you can see before you were able to see through it and now you can't. This is a hack, but kind of not really a hack because I'm just really sharing its intended purpose, but it's something you don't really think about or something that you might think you need, but it comes in so handy. These pickup sticks from Dollar Tree, they are great for getting things that fell underneath the couch and you don't want to remove the entire couch. All the time, my son and my dog throw toys underneath there and it's just easy to grab the items that you need and get it right out. Then obviously these come in so handy if you have had surgery, if you have health issues, if you have a hard time bending, it just comes in really handy. When I had my C-section with my son, it was unplanned and I ended up getting a pickup stick from Dollar Tree and it came in so handy because the first few weeks you can't really bend, it hurts to bend. So I would use the pickup stick to clean up around the house. Then I would actually use it to play with my dog after the C-section. I couldn't bend down and grab the ball from her so I would use the pickup stick to pick up the ball and throw it for her It comes in really handy. That is it for these Dollar Tree home hacks I really hope you guys enjoyed the video again. Thanks to Green Chef for sponsoring this video I absolutely love their food. So I really do appreciate it Green Chef. Anyways, I will see you guys next time. Take care. Bye